Hello learners, how are you? I hope you are having a good time. Most of you already made the exam and I believe you have good scores to uh, to get admitted in Italian University. Uh, those of you who still didn't participate in exam, I wish best for you. I hope you will prepare, uh, uh, prepare best and you will have good scores to get admitted in, in, in the university. So today we are going to solve a logical problems uh, from the book I have written, Mastering Math and Logic for the Talk. So today, specifically, I will solve a single problem from logical sections. Therefore, let's start. Problems, problem number 68, Dr. Aditi, is a renowned researcher coordinating a global environmental study from her office in the New York City. Okay, so she is a researcher staying in New York City. Okay, she collab collaborates with fellow researchers in five different cities around the world. And those five cities are Sydney, Tokyo, Berlin, Cape Town and Sao Paulo, the researchers have agreed to share their findings via email during their 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. local working hours. So remember, this information is crucial, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. local working hours. So from this information, we can guess the working hours starts at 9 a.m. and ends at 5 p.m. All researchers check their emails at the beginning and end of their work days only. So all researcher doesn't matter uh, where they are, they could be in Sydney or Sao Paulo, they read, uh, they read their email at 9 a.m. and at the end of the office at 5 p.m. So these two times they read the email. Dr. Aditi must send out a consolidated report on a crucial discovery that needs immediate attention. If Dr. Aditi sends the email at 2 p.m. from New York, so remember this time, 2 p.m. from New York, what is the maximum time difference? We have to find out the maximum time difference between the first and last researcher to read the email. So what we have to find out? The time difference between first and last uh, okay last reader so this is our objective and here the time uh, time dif i mean the local time zones are given here okay assume that the time zones are such that when it's 2 uh, 2 pm in new york so 2 p.m. the time of sending emails. The local times in the other cities are as follows. Sydney 6 a.m. next day. Tokyo 3 a.m. next day. Berlin 8 p.m. Cape Town 9 p.m. Sao Paulo 4 p.m. So these are in the same days. That means if Dr. Auditi sends at 2 p.m. then in Sydney, uh, the email will be uh, there at 6 a.m. next day, okay? So here are the options. Let's ignore this information. This is not uh, important for now, okay? So we have to find out the time difference. Here are the options, 14 hours, 16 hours, 18 hours, 20 and 14 hours. So let's calculate. So for better understanding, I have drawn these figures where we can uh, we can understand more easily. So the email was sent by Dr. Aditi at 2 p.m. in New York. Let's say it was on Monday. So this is uh, this information not given just for making it easy. We select a day. Uh, it's Monday. Okay. So when it's 
Monday, 2 p.m. in Newark. The time in Sydney is 6 a.m. and Tuesday. Okay. According to the time zones, it would be next day. And it is 3 a.m. at Tokyo. It's also next day. And it is Tuesday. 8 p.m. Berlin on Monday. That means same day. 9 p.m. Cape Town. It's also Monday. That means the email will be received in the same day. 4 p.m. in San, uh, Sao Paulo. It's also in Monday. So let's let's do some analysis to understand these problems. Okay. So as we know that email was sent at 2 p.m. and in Sydney it was received at 6 a.m. The researcher in Sydney will will read this email after three hours here at 9 a.m. Because we know all researchers read their email at the starting time of their office and ending time of their office. So at it, as it is 6 a.m. 6 a.m. in Sydney, that means after three hours, he will read the email. And if, as it is Tuesday, that means uh, it's working days. How about the researcher in Tokyo? It's 3 a.m. That means he will wait six hours to read the emails. Now it's late night. Therefore, he will come in the office at 9 a.m. and he will read the email. That means he needs to wait six hours. Okay, so the researcher in Berlin uh 8 p.m right so he ends his office three hours already passed that means he cannot read the email right now he is now on the way to home or maybe is staying at home right now therefore what he will do he will come to the office next day and and then he will open the computer email and he will read the email at 9 a.m so we can calculate how long he needs to wait so from 8 p.m to 9 p.m one hour and then 9 9 p.m to 9 a.m 12 hours so we can write this way 8 p.m to 9 p.m one hour and 9, uh, 9 p.m. to 9 a.m. is 12 hours. In total, he needs to wait 13 hours. Okay, let's consider now the researcher in Cape Town. So it's 9 p.m. at this moment. So he is definitely not in the office. So next day he will come to the office and he will read the email at 9 a.m. So from 9 p.m. to 9 a.m. definitely is 12 hours. 12 hours. So the researcher in Cape Town will wait for 12 hours. Then let's consider the researcher in Sao Paulo. He will receive the email at 4 p.m. same day 4 p.m. that means is uh, uh, one hour to go to end his office and we know when time is 5 p.m. the researcher read their email so this guy will wait only one hour okay now we have to we have to finalize like we have to find out who will read the email first and who will read the email last so from this analysis we can see the researcher in sao, sao paulo will read the email first right very fast just after one hour of sending the email and the researcher in berlin and cape town 
will read the email after 13 hours and 12 hours respectively but they will read exactly on the same time next day 9 am therefore these two guys will read the email at last where we are not considering these two guy the researcher in tokyo and sydney because they will read one guy will read after three hours one guy will read after six hours although day is not the same but here is the tricks actually some some students will do mistakes they will think oh it's not the same day therefore we have to add more 24 hours but that's actually not correct because in ideally they will receive the email after three hours and six hours so we are not considering that remember that uh, remember that this is the critical point to analyze this problem so let's move on to our next solution i mean uh, our final assessment so here we we identified that uh, the researcher in sao paulo the last guy will will read the email fast at 5 5 pm same day on monday and the researcher from two different cities they are from berlin and from cape town will read the email at 9 9 am next day so let's cal calculate the time difference from 5 pm to 9 am so from 5 pm to 9 pm it's four hour and from 9 pm to 9 am or here we can say 9 pm to 9 am another 12 hours therefore total time is 12 hours plus 4 hours 16 hours so this is our answer i hope you understood the problem still if you have any confusion let me know uh, right right on the comment section i will answer you so however i will uh, i will come frequently with new problems so stay healthy and i wish best for your preparation so if you wish to buy this book you can check the link given in the description i hope uh, uh, it will help it will be helpful for your preparation so thank you all and see you next time